Shopping is more fun when Lassie goes along. <laughs> well, somebody had to stay home to look after things. <laughs> I bet she missed me. I'm sure she did. It looks like she had company. Asa Winkler, Rural Equipment Renovator. Wow. It's a fix-it man. Knives sharpened, fences repaired. Why, well, we haven't had a handyman around here I don't know how long. Well, there aren't any jobs that need doing. Oh, and what about those screens out front? Oh, Uncle Petrie said he wanted to fix those himself when he gets back from Creston. Hmm. I wonder where this Mr. Winkler is. Help! Help me, somebody! Help! Help! <laughs> Here I am, this way, up here. My, my, am I glad to see you folks. What on earth? I guess you're Mr. Winkler, aren't you? Yes, sir. Didn't see anybody home and thought you might be out in the orchard. Only then your watchdog caught me. Say, that's some mean watchdog you got there. Lassie? Mean? She chased you up this tree? Oh, now, wait a minute. I know. I'm sorry, folks, but that's how it was. She wouldn't hurt you. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Winkler. Come on down. Well, uh, I'll just wait till your dog gets out of the way. Thank you. And I uh, don't want you thinking I'm, I'm, I'm sore about the pants. About what? Well, they, they was torn already, and, and I ain't blaming her. No, I'm not. Lassie tore your pants? Ma'am, it was my own stupid fault for letting her bite me in the first place. Oh, dear. Come on, girl. But Lassie doesn't bite anybody. Never mind, son. Come on, Lassie. Well, don't you go punishing her. She's just being a good watchdog. That's all she was. Here, le let me uh, help you down. Uh, here. Careful. Well, I just broke the skin in a few places, but... Ooh. We'll take you to the doctor right away. You sure will not. It's just a nice, clean wound from a nice, clean animal. I'm just terribly sorry. You just show me where your bathroom is and loan me a little bandage, ma'am, and I'll fix it up in no time. Yes, sir, Sonny, I'll stop making trouble and I'll just be on my way. Oh, unless, of course, you folks got some odd jobs need to be done. Uh, Mr. Winkler, I've been looking around, and I find we do have some screen that needs fixing. Well, now, that's mighty kind. Uh, as soon as I finish my pie, I'll... Oh, that's mighty kind, mighty kind. There, now. Your trousers are finished. Hope they're all right. Ma'am, them pants ain't never been ordered with such needlework. My, just look at that. <laughs> well, you can change them out in the barn while I get the screens. Uh, Boomer's out there, son. He's waiting for you to play. Finish your milk, dear. You know, folks, I really didn't expect to find any work here at all. It only takes one look to see how well things is kept up at your place. Your leg hurt? No, no, it ain't nothing. What I was going to say is, I hope you folks ain't feeling beholden on account of this here. Oh, no, no, we, we really do have some screens that need fixing. Come on, I'll show you. Well, that's good. Ma'am? I want to tell you that just eating your cooking make up for a man being et by lions and tigers. You know, that pie of yours, why, that pie is... Uh, that pie is... well. <laughs> oh, mighty kind. Oh, there's a pup. Oh, it's all right. Why don't you take her inside now, Boomer? Your dad told me. Wow. Is that the man she bit? Lassie never just bit anybody like that in her whole life. I've been looking for blood or pieces of pants, 
but I guess they're all gone. I bet he kicked her first. Which teeth do you think it was? Boy, look at these. I'll bet they're as long as sharks. I bet he hit her with a stick or threw rocks at her. Boys, um, why don't you and Lassie go rabbit hunting this afternoon and just forget about Mr. Winkler? I'll wrap up the rest of the pie for you. He ate it. Oh. Well, look, he'll be gone in a couple of hours, and in the meantime, it's as he says, we are sort of beholden to him. What's beholden? Oh, it means that we're obligated to him because of Lassie's mistake. Lassie's mistake? Look, I've, um, I've got some fresh donuts. I'll wrap those up. You can take them instead. Is this the one? Is this where it was? Hey, maybe we could find some blood on the ground. I bet you he's a crook. Huh? Has Lassie ever been wrong about anything? I don't know. She's never gone after anybody that's good, has she? No. Dogs know about people. Only there's nothing for a crook to steal. He might do something worse. Look at her. She's probably thinking we ought to be watching him right now. Are you sure that's what she means? Sure. She means we gotta keep out of sight. Hey, like detectives. Wow. Come on, we're gonna spy on that, Mr. Winkler. What kind of a crook do you think Mr. Winkler might be? A bad crook. Did you? You see him? Your mom went out and he went in. Yeah. Shall I run and find your dad, shall I? No. Wait until we get evidence. What are you doing? We're getting evidence. Mom, look. Get in there. What on earth? Oh. Oh, howdy, Miss Martin. I was looking for a glass, but I couldn't find one. Oh, all right. Oh, thank you. I just uh, forgot my garden gloves. See, ma'am, I was just noticing how dull your knives are. The... Well, I thought Uncle Petrie sharpened those. Well, he didn't do too good a job. There's, there's nicks in them here, see? Look. Oh, I'd never noticed that before. Well, now, ma'am, I'd be finished with them screens pretty quick, and I could fix these up good as new for only 12 cents a piece, or a dollar thirty a dozen. Well, now, I don't know. Well, now, look who's here. Uh, hello, boys. Say, I noticed your dog snooping around after me again. Well, Mr. Winkler, all right. I, I think perhaps you'd better sharpen the knives. You won't regret it, ma'am. You just don't know how good it is to find nice folks like you. Now, 
What were you trying to tell me? What have you been doing? We're just going out to hunt more rabbits, that's all. Timmy, Boomer, time to wash for supper. Mr. Martin, oh, Mr. Martin, wait up. Oh, hello. I thought you'd left by now. Well, putty in that barn wing had took longer than I figured. But uh, I sharpened up your scythe and a couple of saws. I just knew you'd want that done. Mm. See, I happen to remember I didn't mention my pump service. Best in the state. Your what? Well, cleaning and pump repair. You know, that's my real specialty, Mr. Martin. That's why I was taking a look at yours in the shack there. Oh, wait a minute. That's a pretty big job. Well, yes, sir, but only about three days at the most, I'd say, to overhaul everything. And for nice folks like you, Mr. I... Winkler, I told you that Uncle Petrie helps here on the farm. He just cleaned out that well not too long ago. Matter of fact, he lost his glasses down there. Oh, is that so? I think he did a good enough job. Now, how about having some supper with us before you leave, huh? Mighty kind. Mighty kind. Did he drop something? Oh, Mr. Martin. That the darndest thing. Lightning just couldn't strike in the same place twice. What's the matter? You saying that about your uncle is my timepiece. I wonder could I have left it back by the truck? <laughs> Yes, one of my old granddaddy gave me. Solid gold railroad watch it was. The only place I was leaning over was back at the well there. Oh, it just ain't possible. Well, come on, let's go look. Oh, there you are. Timmy, go on in the house and tell Mom we'll be along pretty quick, I hope. But, Dad, look what Lassie found. Over there. It must have fallen out of your pocket, Mr. Winkler. Well... Good for you, Lassie. That makes up for a lot of things. Well, uh, much obliged. Come on, everybody. Supper time. I'm so glad the score is a little more even now, Mr. Winkler. Lassie found your watch as soon as you dropped it. Are you ready for a piece of cake? Well, now, that's mighty kind, ma'am. Mighty kind. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm sorry there aren't any more jobs around here, but that's the way it is. Well, the trouble is these days is too much of this here to do it yourself, even among nice folk. Well, maybe some of the neighbors will have some odd jobs for you. Oh, it ain't likely. What I should have done was stop at one of them run-down places back on the highway, or even like that dingy place down the road there. What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? That's my house down the road. Oh, the brown one. Say, there's some beautiful crops there, I noticed. No wonder your pa ain't had time to mend all of his fences. But how come you ain't eating at home if you live so close? Because my mom's at late choir practice, and my dad's still at the pig auction. Oh, that's too bad. Nobody home, eh? Well, I'll have to wait till the next trip, I guess. See, and that reminds me, I'd better be on my way. I've got miles to go before dark. So I'll just fetch my tools and I'll be on my way. So, goodbye, everybody, and, and thanks again. Uh, Ma'am, as for that cake of yours, why, that cake, it, it's, it's just... Well, you're mighty kind, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you for being so nice about Lassie. My 
house is supposed to look like it does. It's painted brown. Now he's leaving. We'll never know what kind of truck he is. Hurry up, woman. Eat faster. All right, the game's over. Now run along. I said run along. I guess that'll stop you from following Asa Winkler around. After the watch, maybe she's still being a detective. I bet you I know what he is. A dog stealer. your father to come with us. We gotta have evidence. And if he's a dog stealer, I wish we'd have told Dad anyway. When he's not looking, we could run into the house and telephone. Come on, you bearded old bug. because there's a crook here. Please, Jenny. Just tell her we want my dad. Your party line's busy. Here, let me try. <gasps> try to get him anyway, Jenny. Lassie's in trouble. 
No, Lassie. Not a crook. It's a crook. What's wrong? Hey, you look like you were knocked out cold, man. What happened? Oh, I think it was the scooter. No, that wasn't it. I mean, I tripped, and then it was the ladder. That's what it was. The ladder was under the tree, and I must have bumped into, into it. Oh. You mean the ladder was under the tree? Look, how many times have I told you boys about no, this? No, Pop, wait! <laughs> What's he doing, Luce? Say, now, that's some mean goat you got there, mister. I just stopped by to talk about doing some odd jobs, and when I got out of the truck to look for you, well, there come old Billy. I ran as fast as I could, but then there was the scooter, and the ladder and oh my no that's not what happened i suppose the pigs are loose too and the chickens oh just for one afternoon leave boys around pop please we weren't even here now get that ladder out from under that tree and get rid of that scooter no wait a minute get the goat first ralph you heard me go get him I know I'm a blame nuisance, but I only thought you'd like to have your fences fixed and your barn painted. A barn painted? Oh, I can't afford to have the barn. Oh, oh look, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. You stay here and take it easy. We'll take care of you, all right? Yeah. Look at that, that blasted goat. That boy. Here, Sonny. Did you hurt Lassie? All day you've been snooping. I want my dog. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to spoil my business? Help! Help! Somebody! Help! Please! Help! Help me. Dear, Lassie's going after that poor man again. Get him away from me. Somebody help! help. help. Boy, am I glad to see you folks again. Well, that's about the meanest dog I've ever... Dad, look! Lassie tore his pants again. And there's nothing underneath but his leg. Not even a scratch. Lassie never bit him at all. Paul, Ruth, what happened? Well, now, folks, just don't get excited. In fact, my leg is quite better, and my head, too. I guess I'm even fit enough to be on my way, and I think that's just what I'll do, if you don't mind. Sorry, folks. Sorry, Sonny. I told you last I knew it was a crook. Bye! Don't forget now, you all be sure and call me if you got any odd jobs to be done. Yes, sir. Might be quite a while. Won't it, Lassie? Thank <laughs> you.